Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Today I'm going to be showing you how I prep um, nails for gel and also how I apply my builder gel. So I'm going in first at the cuticle area. I don't know what this bit's called, but I will try and find out. I'll link everything below for you. Um, and I'm going to go underneath the cuticle with this. This tool basically lifts the cuticle from the nail bed. Um, and also takes off any of the dead cuticle that's left on the nail bed area and pushes them back. I absolutely love this tool. I've only recently started using this, but I absolutely love it. It really helps when you want to come to trim the cuticles. Like if there's loads of cuticle there, it's like the best tool to use because it really lifts it up so it's visible and then you can just trim it away. So I go in first with the rotation going clockwise and I do the opposite side of the nail. So I go down the left side, then I switch up the rotation. So it's going anti-clockwise and I go down the right side of the nail. Then I'm gonna go in and just trim any cuticle that I can see that has come away. I'm using these cuticle scissors by, I think it's nailed by Lucy. I'll double check that, but I think that's where they're from. So I'm gonna go in and just trim off any cuticle that I can see. And then I'm gonna go in with my small ball bit. And this is just buffing any cuticle that's left there. This is gonna buff that off the skin and also take any of the leftover that's left on the nail plate itself. Again, this is one of my favorite um, cuticle bits to use. Then I'm going to go in with the 180 side of my file and I'm just going to shape up these nails. I did trim them down. I'm just using um, nail clippers. And now I'm going to go in and just, oh, knocking the camera about. I'm going to go in and just shape up these nails. Then I'm going to go over them with my sanding bit on my e-file and I've got it on a really really low speed you don't want it on a high speed at all because that will start making the nails burn so make sure that you do have it on a low setting and you don't constantly go over the same area always make sure that you're moving this um, around the nail I just do it really really lightly it looks like I'm being rough but it's because I've sped it up a little bit and this is just going to remove any shine on the natural nail. So when you're working with gel, you need to make sure that there's no shine left on the nail at all, or else that gel is just going to, it's not going to last at all. It's going to start lifting straight away. So once I've done that and got rid of the dust, I'm going to go in with the Nail Lounge Collections base coat. Now with their um, new builder gels, you don't have to use a base coat. Um, you can just go straight in with the builder gel, but I, do, I don't know why I do it, but I just really like to use a base coat. <laughs> I think it's because with the other products that I was using, I've always used a base coat and now it's just a habit. Um, but it doesn't make any difference at all. They still last amazingly. So I'm going in and applying a thin coat of base coat and then I'm going to cure this for one minute under my LED lamp, two minutes if it's UV. Then I'm going to go in with the Builder in a Bottle and this is in the shade Rose. As we are watching this video now, um, it is pre-order at the moment. So if you do want to order it, I will leave a link down below and a discount code. And again, I'm going to go in just with a thin layer of this to start with on all of the nails. And then I'm going to cure for one minute LED, two minutes UV. Then I'm going to go in and start building the nail. So I like to go in first with a thin layer and use this as a slip layer. And this is just going to make it a lot easier for that gel to be moved about the nail. So once I've applied that, I do not cure. And then I'm going to go in and apply a bead of the gel at the cuticle area. And as you can see, I'm just pushing that down with the tip of the brush towards that cuticle and then doing side to side movements to move that gel up over the nail, making sure to cap the free edge as well. And the really good thing about this gel is it's self leveling. Honestly, I have to do hardly any filing. Um, I currently have it on my nails, which I did 
way before Christmas. I think it's been about five weeks, four or five weeks now, and they are still going strong. They are in desperate need to be done, but trying to find time to do it with a 14-week-old baby and two other children and trying to work, it's just not happening. (laughs) So I go in and I do that to all of the nails, curing for one minute. Then I'm just going in and lightly filing over each nail with the 180 side and just shaping up the nails. And then I will go over with the buffing block as well, just to get rid of any scratches in the nail. But honestly, this is such an easy product to work with. I'm obsessed with it. Then once I have filed up all of the nails, I'm just going to go in and get rid of the dust and just check to make sure that All of the nails have a nice little apex. Because they're so short, we don't really need an apex, to be honest. Um, But I always like to make sure there's a little one there, just for shape reasons. Um, And then, yeah, I'll get rid of the dust. And then I'm going to go in with one of the most beautiful colours I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely stunning. It's um, Runway... It's from the Runway Collection at the Nail Lounge Collection. And it is number three, I think. I'll leave a link down below anyway. But it's a beautiful, like, tealy green colour. It's so, so pretty. So I'll let you just finish watching this bit. So once I've got rid of the dust, I'm going in with this beautiful colour. This is Runway 03. And I'm applying my first coat really, really thin starting at the cuticle area and bringing that up over the rest of the nail, making sure that I'm working nice and neat and trying really hard not to get it on the cuticle. (laughs) Um, And then I'm going to, once I've applied my first coat to each nail, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. If you're using UV, make sure you cure for two minutes. Then I'm going to go in with my second coat of the colour, which for some reason only recorded this finger being done, so I'm really sorry about that. But I just went in and applied another thin layer to each of the nails, and again, I cured for 30 seconds LED, 2 minutes UV. And then here now, I'm going in with my Nail Lounge Collections Ultimate Gloss Top Coat. If you know me, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know this is my favourite top coat ever. It's absolutely stunning. Applying that to all of the nails and then I'm curing for one minute LED, two minutes UV. And once that's cured, I'm going to let the nails cool down for a minute, go in with some cuticle oil and voila, that is them done. So nice and easy set. Um, I just wanted to share something with you because, yeah, I've not really posted much lately, which I'm really, really sorry about. Um, But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I promise I will start uploading more regularly once I've got Delilah in a bit of a routine. Um, But thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye!